Hi class, are you excited? We're going to do a craft together, but we're also going to talk about Roar. Do you remember hearing Roar? Miss Misty taught you about it during our assembly. We've talked about it in class a little bit, but today we're really going to go into it. So let me show you. Here is Roar. It's a theme for our school, and it's how the NDPA lions behave. You are an NDPA lion, and you can roar. That means you will show respect. You will take ownership. You will show, have achievement, and you will show responsibility. So those are the four pieces of roar. Let's talk about each one as we do our craft. For our craft, we're going to make a lion because we're the NDPA lions. What do you think of that? Let's start with respect. You know what respect is. We've talked about this in class. It's one of our signposts for staying on the right path. To be respectful is to pay attention to others, to make sure we clean up after ourselves so that others have a clean space. We take care of the things we share with others because we respect them. And importantly, it's taking turns, sharing and listening when somebody else is talking. Are you showing me respect right now as you listen to the video? I hope so. I'm not there to know if you're showing me respect, but the substitute teacher is, and you're showing the substitute respect by listening as well. I hope you've been showing the substitute respect all day so far. Hey. With respect, we take turns. So, in a moment, we will pause and you will gather your supplies. You will get to pick either red or blue. That's your choice. You get to pick whichever one you want. That one's up to you. So you'll pick one of these. I'm going to pick red today, so the blue bag. I'm going to pick red. Then I'm going to get my other supplies. I need a small pink, a yellow, a white, and then I'll need some orange and brown. Okay, those are the supplies. The first way to show respect is every table has a lid to make a circle. You can show respect by taking your turn quickly with the lid and then sharing it with the next person. You can also show respect by not saying, it's my turn next, and begging and pulling, okay? So take your lid, put it on the yellow, take a pencil, and trace. I'll show you what it looks like in just a moment. It should look like this. Then you pass the lid on, okay? Are you ready to do those steps? Gather your papers and trace the lid. You can now pause the video while everyone at the table has a chance to trace the circle. Okay. All right, did you pause? All right, so next step, everybody will cut out the circle. We have enough scissors that everyone can take their own. All right, you cut out your circle. This will be the head of your lion. You will want to keep, you'll want to keep this extra, don't throw it away yet. You're going to need it later, so just set it to the side. And then you take your circle and you take your white paper and you're going to put them on the yellow paper, or the red or blue paper like this. So go ahead and glue those on. You can do it while I'm doing it. I'll take my glue stick. This is the glue stick that has glue in it. The other one is ready to be thrown away. I put glue on the circle. Put glue on the circle. Okay, so glue on my circle. And I stick it on the paper. I want it toward the top of the paper so I have space for my white paper on the bottom. All right, now I'm gonna put glue on my white paper. Are you following along? I know I'm going kind of fast, but we'll pause the video again in a moment and you'll be able to catch up. So if, don't worry if you're falling behind. Put the lid back on. Ooh, this is showing respect to the other kids in class because 
the glue needs to stay working, right? So that they can use it later. I respect them. So I'm gonna close the lid on it nice and tight. And then I'm ready to show you the next part. Roar is about respect and ownership. Ownership means you own things. That means if you make a mistake, you fix it. So have you made any mistakes in your project? Well, you try to fix it. Now, if you make a mistake in class and you accidentally talk out of turn, you can take ownership by saying, I'm sorry, and then showing that you can be quiet, right? So there's lots of ways to take ownership. Ownership means you take credit for what you've done. Now, the next part, take a pencil. We're using a pencil because if you make a mistake, you can erase it and fix it. You're going to write here and you need three lines. You're going to write, mm, can, roar. You will write your name. So it might say, Gabriel can roar or Chloe S can roar. Or maybe it will say, Alexis D can roar or Gideon can roar. So, as I'm doing this, you can do it too. I'm going to write Mrs. Luce can roar. I'm using a pencil. That way, if I make a mistake, I can fix it. So the first part is to write your name. I'm taking ownership of my work. I'm putting my name on it. That is an important part of ownership, is that you take credit for what you do. And so, here's my ownership, Mrs. Luce. Now we will write can, can, k, a, n, can. I hear a k, k. We're going to use the letter that makes the k sound that starts cat. Do you know which letter that is? It's a C. So we'll write C, k, a, k, a, n, a, oh, a, can. N. That's the letter N. Can. Do you see how whoop, it got blurry? There we go. Now you, oh, nope, still blurry. There you go. So it says Mrs. Luce can. So you'll write can on the middle line. And then on the bottom, you're going to write roar. I want you to write roar with all capital letters. R, and we'll put a period. O, period. A period R. Oops, look, I need to take some ownership. Earlier, I made this board and I made a mistake. I left off the last period. I'm sorry I made a mistake. I'm going to fix my mistake. That's ownership. So I'll put the period there. Those periods show that I know that R stands for respect, O stands for ownership, A stands for achievement, and R stands for responsibility. So you'll put R-O-A-R -R with a period on each. Okay, I'll show you what that looks like. R, all capitals. O, A, R with a period after each one. It should look like this. Okay, now if you're caught up to me, that's great. You can pick a crayon of your choosing to trace over the pencil letters. I'm going to have you pause now so you can pause while I trace over it and you can finish. So pause the video. Thank you for showing me respect and being patient. And thank you for taking ownership and putting your name on it and fixing any mistakes you may have made. There we go. Mrs. Luce can roar. All right, we're done. We're going to put down the pause. Board. 
obviously I didn't stop. So Mrs. Luce can roar. That shows respect because I took turns with the lid ownership. I put my name on it. Now let's show some achievement. Achievement means you do your best work and you celebrate when you do your best work. It's good that you guys are trying. Now, will we keep making mistakes? Yes, and we own up that up to that. We say, oh, I'm sorry, and we fix things when we can, but we just do our best. And we celebrate that you're doing your best. So, I'm gonna show you the next steps. You might want to watch for a bit and see what all these next steps are. You're going to take your little piece and you're gonna cut a triangle. You can decide how big you want the triangle to be. That's your choice. I want my triangle to be pretty small. The triangle is going to be the nose of my lion. I'm going to put it right in the middle of my lion's face. So I'll get out my glue stick, glue that nose on. You can watch me or you can follow along that's up to the substitute. So listen if the substitute tells you to stop or keep working if the substitute lets you. Okay, this next part, you're going to make the mane of the lion, right? So you don't need full sheets of paper, so you'll be sharing. But what you do is you're going to cut out some rectangles, skinny rectangles, okay? You want them skinny, so I'm cutting, cutting, cutting. Your paper might look a little different than mine. But that's what we're doing. Oh, I think I need one more. So I don't want my rectangles quite so long. I cut out some brown ones and some orange ones, you see. And I don't want them so long because that would cover up my words if I put them on like that. So I'm going to cut them into smaller pieces. I think I want them about this long. So I want mine about this long. I know that doesn't really help you because we're on a video, but I cut my long strips into three pieces. You might need to cut yours into two or just see what it is, but I wanted it to be long enough to go around and it's okay if it goes off the top or off the sides, but you don't want it to cover your words on the bottom. Deal? All right. So I'm going to put glue on my strips and glue those down. This is going to take me a little while, so you should get working. If you're gluing pieces, look, I glued two on. Now my next piece is going to go off the paper. Oops, I didn't get glue on that one very well. So put some more. Okay, I made a mistake, I'm gonna own it. It. Um, I don't want the glue to go off the paper, right? So I don't want like it to be sticky back here. So I'm just going to put glue on the end of it. All the other ones I put glue all the way across, but this time I just put it on the one side that's going to go on the paper. Because I don't want glue off the side. I would think I think that would be yucky. I'd have a sticky mess, and I definitely don't want a sticky mess. Right, I'm still going. Glue, glue, glue. Glue on my land pieces on. If you cut too many strips, that's okay. You can leave them and maybe one of your friends needs them. If you didn't cut enough strips, you can cut some more. around. It almost looks kind of like a sunshine, but it's not. It's a lion. <laughs> it's the mane of my lion. I'm getting them glued on. And here we go. Now the mane for my lion. Maybe you want your pieces to be a little closer together. Maybe I did a pattern mostly of brown and then orange, but you could put them together. Like it's, it's however you want. So I'm going to do a couple that are like two browns in a row or two oranges in a row. I think it needs a few more. So just do it how you feel is right. It might be a spot. 
Bot needs another one. Here. Put these on. You want to use a good amount of glue on the strips so that they stick. And if any fall off, just glue them back on. Don't worry too much. There we go. This is what we have so far. Does yours look kind of like this? Or is it a little different? I hope it's a little different because we can do it anyway. I told you to save this, right? Now you're going to make two more triangles. And you actually can just cut off the corners here. If you'd like to make some triangles. See, I've taken the paper and I'm just going to cut off the corner. And these are my lion's ears. So the ears are going to go up by the mane. And he's going to have one ear like here. Actually, hold on. Sorry, i got to get my ear to stick. I need to use a little more glue. I know you can't see what I'm doing, which makes this kind of a weird video. But here we go. Now I glued on my lion's ears. Did your lion have a nose and ears and the mane? Okay. Then next part of ownership is we're going to add the eyes. My lion has two eyes. And then from the mouth, to make the mouth, I come down from the nose and I make kind of like a J shape this way and then the opposite one this way. There's my lion. So now I am all done. It says, Mrs. Luce can roar. We've talked about respect, taking turns and sharing supplies, ownership, fixing our mistakes and putting our name on it, achievement, doing our best work. Now we need to talk about responsibility. Responsibility. The last part of is responsibility. It means we're going to take care of our things. Let's take care of the messes we made. I have some crayons out. I have glue out that needs its lid on. I have my scissors out. I have some scraps of paper that are garbage now because I'm all done with them. And I need to make sure I take care of my paper through all of it and not accidentally throw my art project away. Can you be responsible? Clean up your, your space and do so quietly so that you don't disturb the other students. Right, that is our ROAR project today. Have respect, take ownership, show achievement, and show responsibility. That's all we're doing now, so I hope your project turned out well, and I can't wait to see it. Bye, you guys.